Well, in a lot of cases that we see in client situations, we see that companies are bogged down with so much manual work that's going on, uh, which actually prevents them from, from being nimble enough to create value in a, in a fast way. A lot of companies also face the problem that when they do want to go into software, they think too big. And because of that, they cannot create value from day one. And a lot of the times, these, these projects end up failing. I'm going to focus on the practical steps of actually starting an automation project. This doesn't have to be a large scale uh, software implementation project. It could be a weekend project where we start very, very small and based on that gain quick wins. And once we have those quick wins, companies can then gain the momentum to move forward. Within Redl, we had a few cases where we have helped our clients start this automation project uh, with this exact methodology where we started small. And then based on that, we, we have cases where we have gone into more significant projects that have fundamentally um, shifted the way that companies have worked. There are also cases within Redl where we have optimized the way that our back office works um, um, through the power of software. And in this particular case, we used Python for this. Well, the benefits are that the employees of the company are actually going to be able to feel and understand the impact and the power of software from day one through this approach. Compared to the top-down approach, which many companies take, um, this approach will start from hearing what the employees actually have as pain points and then fixing them in a tactical way. Yes, the talk itself will be available at PyCon's YouTube channel. We will also be publishing an article on the same topic, and that would be available at, at Reynolds' homepage.